Okay, so we have what seems to be kind of a simple equation. I mean, there's not too much going on here. We have 2 to the x power is equal to 9. However, a lot of you are going to be kind of like uh, lost a bit, and you just won't know where to start to solve this equation. And that's okay, because I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this problem. But uh, for those of you that think you can do this, by the way, you will need a calculator. Put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And whether you are lost or you know exactly what you're doing, I will show you the correct solution step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching uh, middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we have 2 to the x powers equal to 9. We want to figure out what x is equal to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution right now. Okay, so x is approximately equal to 3.1. 169. Of course, this is a bit rounded off. That's why we have the approximation. Anytime you have an exact answer in math, like x is equal to 2, that's you know the precise exact total answer. But when you're estimating, when you have um, a decimal and you kind of round it off a bit, you will use the approximation symbol. Okay, so we need to be very clear uh, about what symbols uh, we use. But uh, nevertheless, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face on A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional expert and certified in solving basic exponential equations. And that's what we're dealing with here, an exponential equation. Now, for some of you out there, you might be like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, don't despair. This is not that difficult, and it's, this is something that you absolutely need to understand, especially if you are in the like the algebra two, college algebra level of mathematics. Okay, but even if you're like an algebra one, basic algebra, uh, I think you'll find this little video interesting, and you will certainly learn how to solve basic exponential equations. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so here is our problem. We have two to the x is equal to nine. And if you notice, we're looking to solve for the variable x, right? Well, where is the x located here? Okay, well, the x or the variable, the unknown value, is in the exponent, right? So when we have a power like 2 to the fourth power, 2 is the base, right? This is uh, just a quick review. And this little 4 up here is the exponent. Okay, the entire thing is a power. But uh, here, we have to distinguish this uh, equation, 2 to the x uh, power is equal to 9, uh, uh, versus, let's just kind of flip the variable and base position here. What if we had x squared is equal to 9? Okay, so we're just taking the, the uh, unknown value. We'll make that the base, and we'll, make, we'll kind of flip-flop the base and the exponent here. So x squared is equal to 9. Hopefully, most of you out there recognize this as a basic quadratic equation, which indeed it is, because all we have to do here is take the square root of both sides, okay? But this is not this type of equation, okay? What we have here, again, is a, uh, the unknown value, the x, is in the exponent location. Hence, this is what we call an exponential equation, okay? So how are we going to solve this? Well, I'll explain this in just one second. But let's kind of think about the problem here. Okay, we're, like, we're looking for some 2 to some power that's equal to 9. So if we kind of just think about this, we're like, well, let's kind of uh, play with some numbers here. So I have 2 to some power is equal to 9. Well, let's just start taking 2 to some powers, right? So 2 to the first is 2 times... Um, is two, it's just basically just 2, right? 2 to the first is 2. 2 squared is 2 times 2 right, which is 4. Now, we're looking for the power of 2 uh, such that our answer is 9. Okay, so we're kind of getting closer. We've got 2, 4. Let's kind of increase the exponent here. 2 to the third is 8. That's 2 times 2 times 2. So that's pretty close to 9, okay? Let's go up another number. So 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 
which is 16. Now we went too far, right? Because we're looking for 2 to some power that's equal to 9. Okay, so looks just right here. When we plugged in a 3 for the exponent, we got 8. When we plugged in a 4, we got 16. So just by common sense, it looks like our answer will be pretty close to 3 or a little bit over 3. And indeed it is, right? Because I showed you the correct answer right here. It's 3.169. But how do we, you know, get the exact value? Well, this is where the real fun starts. And uh, this is kind of the main point of this video. Okay, so we have an exponential equation. We need to solve for this variable. How do we do this? Well, I'm going to explain this to you uh, right now. Okay, so one thing that you need to know in math is to identify different types of equations. And there's a ton of different type of equations in algebra. There's systems of equations, algebra, uh, quadratic equations, rational equations, radical equations. You get the idea there's exponential equations and logarithmic equations. All right, so we've already talked about uh, you know, why this is an exponential equation. So it's an exponential equation. What you need to know is that when you have an exponential equation, we need to use logarithms to solve, okay? Now, when you have a logarithmic equation, you need to use exponents to solve because uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another, okay? So they're just like best friends, all right? Exponential equations are gonna be thinking logarithms. Logarithmic equations are gonna be thinking exponents. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, I don't even know what a uh, logarithm is, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You know, you're using these terms. I'm totally lost. Well, just hold on. I'm going to explain that uh, here in just one second. Just a real quick, basic explanation. Okay. Of course, you know, if you really want to um, master the stuff, you'll need more instruction than this. But for those of you that, you know, aren't aware of logarithms, I'll explain to you what they are. Okay. So a logarithm. Yeah, here's a couple examples is this, right? Now, I want you to think of this cute little phrase, bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Who doesn't like bacon and eggs? So B-A-E. So we have log B-A equals E, bacon and eggs. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and explain this right now. So the B is uh, the base, okay? So we have this little, what we call subscript here. The E is the exponent, and the A is the answer. Now, this still doesn't make sense. Let's suppose I have um, this power right here, okay? 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. Okay, 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? So 2 is the base, 4 is the exponent, and the answer here is 16. So I can express this power, 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. I can express this whole thing using uh, a logarithm, okay, a logarithmic expression, okay? So for every power there is a, uh, every power expression you have, uh, you can write this or express it as um, a logarithm, okay? So let's go ahead and see how this works right now. So again, we're gonna put the base, okay, uh, down here in uh, the subscript notation, all right? So what's our base right here? It's 2, so that's going to go right there. What's the answer? That's where bacon and eggs, right? Our answer is 16, so we'll write that there. And our exponent is what? It's 4, so we'll write that there. So log base 2, 16, is equal to 4, okay? So this is uh, basically uh, what a logarithm is. It's another way to express... Uh, powers and exponents, okay? Now, on your calculator, if you have a scientific calculator, you'll see this LOG button. So if you ever wonder what that LOG button is, that is a logarithm. There's, there's another button called LN. That's the uh, natural base, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the natural log. But I can't turn this into a full, complete uh, lecture, although I would love to, because I just love teaching math that much about you know all this stuff. Uh, if you need help with logarithms, exponential functions, check out my um, Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus courses. You'll see those uh, links in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on this topic as well. All right, but that is basically what a logarithm is, even for those of you that are studying this stuff, uh, hopefully this little bacon and eggs uh, concept We'll stick it to your brain and you'll never forget this. Okay, so now we're going to put this all together to solve this uh, equation. 
But before we do, if you have not subscribed, I want to kindly request that you smash that like button. That little tiny act goes a long, long way for me. And uh, you know, I wouldn't be asking if that wasn't the case. And if you do decide to subscribe, which I hope you do, please hit that notification button. That way you'll get my latest videos. I'm posting videos where I've been posting videos for years and years and years. Basic math to advanced math like calculus uh, pretty much daily, okay? So if you do that, that will go a long way for me. Okay, back to the problem. Okay, so now that we understand that we're dealing with an exponential equation, okay, we got an exponential equation here, and this guy on YouTube, this YouTube uh, math man is saying, okay, when you have an exponential equation, you want to be using logarithms. Okay, got that part. We talked about what a logarithm was. We're talking bacon and eggs, so we have a good sense of that. But how can we kind of practically put this all together? Well, this is actually quite easy. So what we're gonna do is, uh, for this simple exponential equation, we have our power isolated on one side, and we have our number isolated on the other side. Now, if this was more involved, we'd have to take more steps. For this particular equation, this is super easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the logarithm of both sides, okay? Now, one thing I want you to kind of um, keep in mind is that when you take a log of a number, like log nine, this is just a decimal. It's just a value you can get in your calculator. So this, I mean, this looks crazy, right? L-O-G nine, you're like, oh, it looks so mysterious. No, it's just a number, okay? But I don't want you to go in your calculator and go log nine and get that decimal, okay? But I want you just to be, you know, mindful that it is a value, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is take the logarithm of both sides. All right, so the next thing is really critical, and that is we're going to use what we call a property of logarithms to move this x, and in um, logarithms, when we take the log of both sides, or we have a, the log of a power, another way you can write this is you can drop the exponent in front of the log. That's uh, because of a property of logarithms, okay? But that is a rule that's allowable, and that is what we need to do here, okay? So after taking the log, logarithm of both sides, the next step is to take our x here and drop it in front of this log uh, uh, two, okay? Now, one thing you might be um, um, saying to yourself is, hey, this is log, what's the base, right? Because I said log is bacon and eggs, right? What's the base here? Well, LOG, when you just have LOG in mathematics, the base is uh, base 10, okay? It's what we call the common log. And we use that because we have a lovely button on our calculator, LOG, that is logarithm base 10. You could use uh, logarithm, um, you know, it doesn't make a difference, uh, log base seven, you could use both sides. The problem is you don't have this button on your calculator. So we just use what we have on our calculator, the LOG and the LN, uh, LN button, which is technically the log base E, natural base E, that's for another discussion. But that's why we're using LOG, which is again, uh, the common logarithm base 10, but we just don't write that 10 in this case. All right, so at this point, remember, I told you the log of a number is like a decimal, it's just a number, right? So log of nine, I could get that value in my calculator, and now I can go in and get log of two. Okay, in my calculator, this is nothing more than a super basic algebraic equation. I have x times some number, I don't know, let's call that 3, is equal to another number like 12, right? Like this would be x times 3, or 3x three is equal to 12. All I have to do is solve for x, is divide both sides of the equation by 3, and I'm done. And uh, that's what we need to do here to solve for x. All I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by log base 2, and that's the step I'm taking right now. So x is equal to log nine divided by log, uh, um, not log base two, log two, excuse me. So x is equal to log nine over log two. Now, if you were in my class and I said no calculators and you gave me this answer, I would give you full credit, okay? So at this point, okay, uh, now you want to go ahead and use your calculator. You don't wanna do it uh, before this point. So when you're finally done, you can go into your calculator and go log nine divided by log two, and you'll get this lovely decimal value and just kind of round it off. So we'll call it X is uh, approximately equal to 3.169.
Okay, so this is just a quick basic introduction to solving exponential equations, an absolute must know for those of you that are doing a little bit more advanced algebra. But uh, hopefully some of you out there watching this, you never even seen this before. And you might be saying, yeah, you know what? You know, I kind of get it. I understand. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, irrespective of what level of math you're at, you can learn as much as you possibly want. Okay, now does math get more challenging as you get into calculus and beyond? Yes, indeed, it does. Okay, but if you like math, you know, it, it you know, you can continue to learn, right? You just have to invest more, you know, focus and, and effort. But, um, you know, you never tell yourself that you can't learn this stuff, right? Because that's not true. You can learn this stuff. It's just a matter of getting great instruction. That's what I try to uh, deliver, clear instruction. And then you have to practice the right, you know, uh, formats and, you know, kind of procedures to solve these various type of problems to build up your skills. Okay, so again, it's one thing to watch me solve a math problem or a, an equation. It's a whole other thing. Uh, for you to do it, okay, because you have to do the work in order for you to develop your own skill, okay, so make sure to practice this stuff, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures, thank you for your time, and have a great day.